North Bunloit sits up above the west shores of Loch Ness. It's a mosaic of habitats covering 340 hectares. It's predominantly wooded, but also contains areas of heath and peatland. The woodlands here are a mix of native broadleaves, old and becoming semi-natural pine woodlands, and also stands of non-native conifers for which there are plans to diversify in the future. This is Ball and Wood, one of the conifer plantations, which was felled and restocked with Sitka spruce and Scots pine before Highlands Rewilding took over management. It's the one area of North Bunloik completely surrounded by, by a deer fence, and so birch and other native broadleaves are naturally regenerating here. And so thinning some of the areas of Sitka will let these native trees establish and will break up the even aged productive conifers. And this will help the transition towards more continuous cover forestry in the future, which will help biodiversity here as well. This large area of bog known as Lon Vaux contains massive amounts of carbon stored in the peat here. But previous work has shown the area is actively eroding and this is due to historic drains cut through the area and so it's actually emitting carbon at the moment. But we plan to restore this area blocking the field drains and gullies which will raise the water table and give the peatland vegetation like the sphagnum mosses the right conditions to thrive and also enable the area to effectively store carbon again. This footage shows where a plantation of Sitka spruce and lodgepole pine have been previously planted very inappropriately on the peat here. And this has now been felled and will naturally regenerate into heath, scrub and peatland habitats, which will add to the diversity of this area. This view looks north, with Bill's plantation on the left there and the ancient Craig Vallach birch woods on the right, which go down the slopes towards Loch Ness. Browsing impact surveys here have shown that there is no natural regeneration at the moment and only mature and old trees. So increasing deer management here will help to improve the condition of these woodlands and help them regenerate with new growth. There are also pockets of peat in Bill's plantation further north and into upper Lenny pine woods. These areas of bog and other pockets of wetland are really important habitat for wildlife, including dragonflies, of which there are many different species here. On the edge of these pine woods sits Ardachy House, which is a beautiful place, has five bedrooms and gorgeous views out over Loch Ness. <laughs> 